Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. All right, we're here with uh, Sister Ruby. Can you can you state your whole name, first and last name? Ruby B. Muhammad. Ruby B. Muhammad. And um, can you tell us, you know, your birth date? Yes. Okay. What's your birth date? April 21st. So we'll have one. April mm -hmm. 21st, mm -hmm. 1924. 1924. How many lie? You didn't know that? Oh, no. no, I did not. Really? For didn't real? Know. Yeah, for real. But, oh, yeah. but where where were you born? What part of the uh, country were you born in? Texas. You were born in Texas? Yes, sir. I'm in Texas. Uh, what city? Believe it or not, Longview. Longview. Hmm. All right. Um, did you grow up with your parents? Mother and father? Or his no, mother? No. Did it? No, no, they didn't. All right. Now, how about no. your parents' parents' name? Uh, it's their... Ruby and, and Benny Darden. Ruby. Ruby? My mother's name was Ruby. Oh, okay. That's why I am Ruby. All right. And what was her last name? Uh, when uh, her maiden name or her no her my, married my, her married, married name Darden D A R D E N is my maiden name. Okay. So okay. my father was Benny. Benny. B E N N I E. Okay. Were they Muslim? Oh no, I'm the only Muslim. I would say in my family. How many how many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, well, that's a long story. From my mother, mm -hmm. my um, see for answering that it takes a take a whole year to answer I mean, that. Like, oh, how but many? I have I see I have there were four of us. Four. My mother gave birth to four, two girls and two boys. Okay. I am the youngest of the four. Okay. But you see, I have my father had children. That's the reason I'm hesitant. Oh, oh that's fine. That's fine. Well, I'm just really the, talking about between your mother and your father. Well, only four. Just four. Yes. Four of you all. Okay. Okay. Um. Um. And when you grew up, um, I guess you went to school in Longview. No, you did not. That, that, I said I was born there. You were born there. Okay. When did you, you go see, to school? Actually. At? Now, see this, I'm, I'm not going into real detail of all this, uh -huh. but you can say I am a Dallas. I was raised and right here in Dallas. Okay, raised in Dallas. Yes, and in fact, I, um, when Lincoln High was built, so you went to Lincoln High. I was one of the first students to go to school there when it was brand new. Hmm. And I entered high school at Booker T. Here. Uh, so, so, but this is Lincoln. You talking about? I entered. High school at, Link, uh, at Booker, Booker T. T. Transferred from there to Lincoln when it was built. I that was my freshman year of freshman high school year. when Lincoln High was built. All right. Okay. And uh, well, that's eleventh grade, right? No, that's the tenth grade. You you mean no enter no at that time to uh, you enter high you entered high school in the eighth grade at oh. that time, oh, okay. and then you had four years of high school and you come out. Okay. In the twelfth grade, okay. see the system has changed so mm -hmm. much since. So uh, you're saying the freshman year is the eighth school, is the eighth grade. Year. Exactly. I see. Ex uh huh. Okay. The sophomore was the ninth, and, uh -huh. and junior ten. Um, the junior was the, uh, yeah, ten. Mm -hmm. No, it was eleven. Eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm getting mixed up. Well, usually <laughs> freshman is the ninth. The yep. sophomore is the 10th, 10. junior, junior is, the is the 11th, and 12th is the senior. graduation. Right, senior yes. is the 12th. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so you enter in at the ninth grade. No, in the two. You uh, enter in at the 8th grade. Well, at that time, you know, look, <laughs> I must say, remember, see okay. how old I am and the system changed yes. and what we are saying. Mm -hmm. Remember, but mm -hmm. this is, um, so I would say, mm, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, yeah. So it went to be the um, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Right. So it must have been the ninth, ninth. then. Right, ninth grade. Okay. It had to be something like that. The the freshman year. Mm hmm Can you can you tell can you tell me a little bit about uh, how was how did you see school at that time? Did you like it? Oh yes, I, I, I liked school. Was you were you uh, um, I, I, influenced to be more you know educated you know know this know that and read. <laughs> 
Yes. Was that part yes, of your environment? Yes, I think so. It was? Yeah. Was part, and this is, I guess, it have to be about, what, 1936, 37. 1936, 37. Mm -hmm. um, were, your, were your teachers uh, well educated? Oh, definitely. But you could, in a, uh, I'm speaking of high school now. Yes, but, yes. And of course, and when it comes to what you could do, you call it secondary school now at that time, mm -hmm. it was strictly classified as elementary school. Mm -hmm. They were well qualified because they had limited resources and what have you, but they really mm -hmm. instilled into us education. Mm -hmm. Education. So, okay. Were well, your teachers uh, black or white? Oh, at that time, this is complete segregation in Texas and all over. That's okay. unheard of. Uh, black and white teachers strictly had black teachers. Strictly this black is, teachers. And with their limited resources where we were, uh, they were very resourceful mm -hmm. and we were above average because they were interested in us. Uh-huh. Hmm. Did you, did you, um, um, so I take you had a black principal? Everything. This was complete, okay. listen to me. Okay. Complete segregation. Okay. Now, you, with your, your age range, mm -hmm. you were aware when the schools were desegregated, weren't you? Um, I didn't go through that. Where were you? I was, um... Where, were you in Texas or some other place? Oh, I was in Chicago. There you go. Mm. But I'm, sp I'm speaking of Texas, complete segregation, and they started uh, trying to integrate. Mm -hmm. Were they in your time? You in were my aware time. Of that? So you were when you was in high school, segregation was it. It wasn't no integration. From, from the beginning, from my birth, mm -hmm. from my birth up to the time that they started desegregating the mm -hmm. schools all over the USA. When you heard about desegregating the schools, how do you feel about that? At that time, um, I thought it because now at the time when this yes. happened, mm -hmm. see, I'm a young woman. I'm becoming. Uh, Let's see when they started talking about the schools. It's about the time that I was becoming a Muslim. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But did you see through the years, mm -hmm. interject this right here. When I come out of high school, mm -hmm. I left Texas mm -hmm. and I was gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, for I stayed away from Texas maybe 35 years. So you was gone from Texas 35 years? Oh, right at 35. I would come back and visit the family and all. Mm -hmm. uh, but you see, I grew up here in Dallas. Okay. And in fact, my my family, mm -hmm. my uncles and all particularly, mm -hmm. were business people, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. I put you know, you've heard of Ellen Thicket? It sounds very familiar. Well, it's out uh, Lemon Avenue. Okay. That section. Mm -hmm. Love Field. Love That section. Okay. Yes. Okay. See, and and the. Uh, African Americans mm -hmm. section was called the whole section called uh, Ellen Thicket. Okay. And um, my uncle and all were business people, and they went out there as long as I can remember, uh -huh. since I was about five years old, mm -hmm. and opened up a business mm -hmm. out on Lemon Avenue. Mm -hmm. So that's home to me out there. Oh, okay. He had grocery store. Maybe one of these days I shall bring you the picture I of the that. store of these things. I sh can mm -hmm. go ahead. But during that time, while you was in high school. Mm -hmm. Did you have any um, problems with, with um, you know, white people or the Caucasians? Well, when it comes to the problems, you, I won't say, I won't use the term. You won't say problem? No, huh? You, oh, go ahead. No, no, what I was going to say, mm -hmm. I won't, I, when I say not use the term, mm -hmm. to the extent that I knew my place and stayed in it, mm -hmm. I won't use that term. That's okay. just what, what I'm saying I won't use, mm -hmm. because... I knew it was segregation, grew up with it, mm -hmm. but I carried myself and and lived in such a way that I didn't let it interfere with me mm -hmm. mentally. I knew it was there. Mm -hmm. For instance, this is me. I knew that uh, the white people, mm -hmm. the Caucasian, expected. Uh, I knew what they expected of the black people. Mm -hmm. I resented it. You resented it. Yes, very much. Okay. I trained myself mm -hmm. and carried myself that I never used the term to them uh, humbly, yes ma'am and no ma'am and yes sir, because I resented that. Yes. But I, as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. I trained myself.
to say yes, Mrs. So and so, mm -hmm. or no, Mrs. So and so, mm -hmm. using the term yes and no. That mm -hmm. has even into me now to teach our children mm -hmm. yes and no in a respectful manner. Right. Uh, that's the way I lived mm -hmm. as long as I can remember. So that segregation wasn't a good thing for you? Oh, no. Okay. But not to the extent that I wanted to associate with them, mm -hmm. but just because I know it was a degrading class. Mm -hmm. That was my resentment. Okay. Not that I wanted to associate with them or what have you. Mm -hmm. So did you think that desegregation, did you, what did you think about that? I thought it was the worst thing that happened to us because I knew then it's what has come about as of today from the de from the what? From the desegregation okay. that mm -hmm. our children would not get the um, education in a way they would have to as they were getting back at that time. Right. Because these white people were not going to be interested in our children. Right. So they didn't have and like a personal concern. It would, it would be more like a distant teaching. Exactly. Of a they don't teaching. care. And they don't care whether you uh, learn or not, mm -hmm. which has been proven to be true. Mm -hmm. This is the way it has been and still is. It mm -hmm. will always mm -hmm. be. It will always be. Huh. Okay. Now you said that you left Texas for 35 years. Does that mean, well, does does it does that mean you just left Dallas, or does it mean you Texas. left the whole state? Te the whole state. Well, where did you go? New York. You went to New York. My father was there. Okay. See, my mother and father separated. I mean, I grew up without being in the home mm -hmm. with my father. Okay. So you grew up without him there. Yes. Okay. So your mother raised you. Yes. How about my your grandparents? Along with the family. I guess her parents was there. Maybe did you have any not male really, figures? Not really. Her brothers were there. Her brothers were there. Her her brothers, as you hear me say, that my uh, uncles with entrepreneurs. Yes. They helped her to raise Okay. Us. They helped to raise you. That, yeah. uh, and you can, uh, the business mm -hmm. of my uncles and all, uh, Lemon Avenue, mm -hmm. the section is still there. Okay. It, when I, uh, hit grocery store, mm -hmm. I have pictures I should bring you mm -hmm. and let you all even see uh, <laughs> the, um, in the store, mm -hmm. something you have, the average person mm -hmm. hasn't seen the child mm -hmm. your age and all mm -hmm. uh, no they just wouldn't heard of mm -hmm. bananas in the grocery store yeah. hanging on the stalk yeah you have seen that have no you ever, well, as, no. as it come <laughs> off the tree uh -huh. I mean they, they would t that's the way and I bring that that'd be interesting for the children to yeah. see the, in the store when he would uh, purchase the bananas to be sold. Mm -hmm. He would just ink. Uh, it would be uh, anchored from the ceiling, and mm -hmm. they're hanging. Mm -hmm. And you can see this in the picture mm -hmm. when the customers want the bananas. They would go then pull them off. Off, 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 as the, off the tree. Uh, as yes, off the tree. Yeah, uh huh. But it was hanging upside down. You see, mm -hmm. and how they grew. Okay. And, but this is what I grew up. He had there was a grocery store, uh, beer tavern, mm -hmm. liquor store. Mm -hmm. And his daughter, he built her beauty shop mm -hmm. across the street. All that's in business right there, Lemon Avenue. Do you know where Maple, you know, there's Maple and Maple mm. streets now I'm speaking of. Mm -hmm. Now it is Maple, the street that where it goes into Love Field almost. Okay. Are you aware? You, no, I'm not familiar with that area. You're not, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this. I well, was asking you. Well, let me, instead of going in that area, I have one more question. Why are you back in high school? What type of music did you listen to? All kinds. Can you, do you remember any names or any songs, or any any songwriters that you oh, particularly like? Oh, back liked? at that time, that was, uh, it was, this was even in my mother's time, mm -hmm. was um, the Ink Spots. The Ink Spots? Is that the name of a group? Yes. Okay. What 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 name of the songs did they sing? Uh, that's what I'm trying to learn in particular. Um, but at this moment, it's it's a little um, hard. Um, once I think of the song, I'll let you know, and you can put it in there. But okay. uh, how about any other groups? Uh, let me see. At that time, that's a, oh yeah, when I'm in high school with the, uh, even and the j jazz musicians. Oh yeah. Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald. Oh yeah, we everybody know about her. Mm. And and uh, when I when I'm in high school now, you see. In fact, you heard of uh, 
a tisk a tasket. Oh, mm. that was very popular with Ella, Ella at that time. Is that a name of a song? A tisk a tasket. No, she sang that. She sang that. That's, That's what that song made her famous almost. What a tisk a tasket. There you go. My in the brown basket. and yellow basket. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, um, how about dances? Did you did you dance when you were young? Oh, I was a, I was Miss Jitterbug. Oh, okay, Jitterbug. Yes. Okay. And and that's what I was going to say. Seeing the musical people coming in about that time, this is when uh, that because the bands were segregated. Mm -hmm. But at the time when uh, 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 Benny Goodman, Chick Webb. Mm -hmm. Now Chick Webb was a black drummer who mm -hmm. was associated with Ella Fitzgerald. Okay. They played together. Mm -hmm. And uh, Erskine Hawkins, mm -hmm. and naturally Duke Ellington. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, all those people. They were young people at the time, mm -hmm. but they influenced me with their music. Okay. And I loved Duke through the years and following him, and mm -hmm. also um, Mr. Trumpeter himself, mm -hmm. Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. All those people, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I when I'm a young woman. All right. Now during this time when you was in high school, did you consider yourself a Christian? Was religion sort of in your life? That's the point. Yes. Good. Okay. But it was, uh, now this is... When you say yes, you consider yourself a Christian? I was searching. You were now, searching. But, but all blacks were Christians. What I mean, the religion was Christ, okay. Christianity. But I will say this. Mm -hmm. I was influenced mm -hmm. with uh, Islam mm -hmm. at the time in high school. Because I took ancient history. Oh, oh yes. They really so they taught me. you Islam in high school back but then? Just a moment. No, they didn't teach it. Mm -hmm. But it's mentioned in ancient history. Mm -hmm. uh, but they did not call it Islam. It's called Muhammadan Islam. Ah, I see. Oh, I got this book of T High School. Mm -hmm. My teacher's name was the. the uh, she was a Miss, I think, let me see, I'm trying to, Miss Shepherd was my Latin teacher, Miss Dawson, I'm trying to think of these things, oh, oh yes, I think her name was Miss Shepherd, mm -hmm. I think Shepherd was the, the history teacher, mm -hmm. Dawson, I think that's what's her name. Now, this has been a long time ago. Well, yeah. This has been, you're looking now about 1938, mm -hmm. 37 or 38. Oh. No, it was before then because I transferred from Booker T to Lincoln. Long, right, Lincoln. And yeah. that was 30, 37. This might have been 36. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, one more question before we get out of your teenage years. During your teenage years or from teenage years back, have you have you had any intercation or altercations with any white people? As far as altercations. Like, like words, maybe, you know, not, standing up for not, yourself. Not, not really, you see, because mm -hmm. as I said, I carried myself in such a way to just have avoided you, those people. Have you heard of any altercations? Maybe some people getting come up missing? From, yeah, well about the sheriff of the city was mm -hmm. messing with folks, or maybe have a police raid or riots. Or no, that's the end. You have any? I, I mean, I was, mm -hmm. I was shielded from that. You were shielded from that. I was shielded from that. And then I must say this, you see, with my, the, my little personal society, uh, with my, with my family, my uncles all being entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. it was a different class of people. I mean, I didn't have to come in contact. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. It, there's a different thing. Like people when you crash up or some shell crash. It's, it's different mm. here in the city. Mm. You follow me. You in the city. You in. What's here in Dallas? Right. Yes. Right. right. It wasn't like you had a farm and well, share properties and all this stuff. That, okay. that makes it made a difference. Okay. It really made a difference. All right. All right. Well, one, more, one more question. Why did you move to New York? My father. I said, but, before we get into that, let's go back. See, cause mm -hmm. when you talk about an interview, it's going to take a long time. Mm -hmm. the, the type of questions and what you want, mm -hmm. it's going to take a long, much, who, who knows how many more sessions. Oh, okay. You follow me? Yes. But you ask me about the religion. That's where I want to get to. Oh, right. You consider yourself Christian. Oh, that was not saying you consider yourself Christian, but you say everybody was Christian. That's right. right. I mean, this was, this okay. was just a, a, a general accepted term. thing. Right. Okay. 
And, uh, but mm -hmm. here's what I want to tell you, and most important, mm -hmm. where I'm concerned, mm -hmm. and Islam is concerned, mm -hmm. my, I was, so I, I would say I was seven, because mm -hmm. my mother made us, uh, said there was a ritual, you go to Sunday school every Sunday. Mm -hmm. That was it. Okay. She, she wasn't a church person, but she saw that her children went. Mm -hmm. uh, there at Sunday school, they had these little cards. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, they had a picture of Jesus on the card. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of that? No. Now, you never experienced mm -mm. going to Sunday school or anything. And well, the, the, the lessons of the, the, the Sunday school lesson mm -hmm. was on a little card mm -hmm. with the passages and what have you. Mm -hmm. But... I would look at this card, Jesus mm -hmm. kneeling with the cross, and it's, and I naturally a white picture, white person, and I would think, I thought, and this is a fact. Mm -hmm. I said, how can God, my question mm -hmm. to myself, to nobody else, but I thought, how can God be this man or look like this man and be so cruel? Mm -hmm. Because I'm told of the cruelty of the white man. Mm -hmm. So how can he be white and be so cruel? Mm -hmm. And this is a seven-year-old mind. Yes. Ah. This is what the one that this is important mm -hmm. about me. Yes. I went on until never speaking, nobody telling anybody about it, but knowing something was wrong. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, as I grow and get into high school, and as I said to you, study ancient history, Egypt and all these things, the pyramids and all I study these things. Mm -hmm. And here comes Mohammedanism. Mm -hmm. Something about it took, grabbed me. Mm -hmm. Did not say Islam or whatever, mm -hmm. but it grabbed me. Um, and the thought never left me. I knew, and from, of course, somehow, maybe even from the Bible and reading about the Egyptians, the pyramids, that grabbed me. Mm -hmm. Egypt and all, when it comes to the stories of the Bible, the history of the Bible, that mm -hmm. grabbed me. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not, I continued to go to Sunday school and church. Uh, when I become a teenager, my mother didn't make me go to mm -hmm. church or Sunday school anymore. But I'm searching for a spiritual something that I can believe in. I'm searching for my God mm -hmm. within my mind. Mm -hmm. I left the Baptist church mm -hmm. and went into the Episcopal mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. Of course, once I got there, I found it's still the structure, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Same thing, mm -hmm. in a different form. Mm -hmm. And I was very much involved with the Christian, with the uh, the rituals of the Episcopal. Mm -hmm. And of course, this Episcopal that I attended, that I joined, they said it was uh, what they call the higher Episcopal. The only difference in the services was the Catholics mm -hmm. did it in Latin mm -hmm. and the high Episcopal what they did in English. Okay. They said that was the main difference. Mm -hmm. Now, I stayed there until the time came when I left Texas and went to New York. Why did you go to New York? I wanted to see New York yes. and to visit my father and wanted to travel. Mm -hmm. I've all, all, I grew up wanting to travel. Okay. And with you asking that question, I'll say this to you. Mm -hmm. When I was a little girl, all through the years and in, in uh, elementary school, and we had to uh, learn all of the states, mm -hmm. the capitals. Mm -hmm. This was law. You must know this mm -hmm. when I'm in school. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and all of the, um, the uh, what they produced, the production of the state. Mm -hmm. where they were located and all of that. We had to know that. Okay. My studying this and reading about this, I said to myself, when I get grown, I'm going to these places. Mm 
Mm. Now, that's before I got into high school. Okay. I thought it never happened. Okay. So when you was in New York, you went to visit your father. Or you went to I stay went to with stay with him, not visit him. Okay, you went to stay with him. Mm -hmm. And um, did you get a job? Oh, yes. What type of work were you doing? Well, I, um, see, I went there mm -hmm. at, uh, and, and that's the beautiful. I left Texas and went straight to New York and stopped. It was during the Second World War. Okay. And that's when people were really shifting and traveling. Most Texans went to California. Mm -hmm. All of my girlfriends and what have you went to California. Mm -hmm. I went just the opposite, mm -hmm. New York. Oh, New York. Mm -hmm. okay. And my best girlfriend uh, settled in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's another story. But in the meantime, uh, you asked me, what did I, oh, yeah, what did I do? do in New York? Right. I did not live. I was in, um, in, uh, Mount Vernon, New York. Mount Vernon, New York. Yes. That is the end of the subway line. You mm -hmm. can get the subway and ride. Oh, that's where the subway stops? That's where it stops. Okay. Uh, of course, I seldom rode that, the, the subway. I wouldn't have to ride that till I get downtown the city. But they had a train, and it's still operating as of today, mm -hmm. New Haven train, mm -hmm. which you get it at Grand Central Station, mm -hmm. and it goes on up into Connecticut. Okay. Uh, but once you get it, get the train to mm -hmm. New Haven, mm -hmm. at Grand Central, now that's, well, you know where Grand Central is, right? There's, around Fifth Avenue, right down uh, right. part of New York, yeah. Okay. Okay, down near Wall Street and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I've had quite a, quite a life, quite an experience. Yeah. I have been alive. But what did you do? What type well, of work did you uh, do? Uh, during that time, yes, I worked at factory. Okay. Uh, at, um, uh, in Yonkers. Yonkers. You mm -hmm. heard it. <laughs> On the Hudson River. Oh, okay. You, you know, but you heard about the Hudson. Mm. No, I haven't. But, well, that's, but what what, is, what was you manufacturing? What were they manufacturing? Uh, that's what I'm going to uh, Lining for ships. It's lining for ships, shipbuilding. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. Do you remember any particular part of that ship that you was building? Oh, no, no. So you just, but you, no. You, in fact, I ran a uh, machine because mm -hmm. they were lining them for, uh, they made asbestos linings. And when, you know, here of late, several years ago, they mentioned people working with and asbestos and this disease. Yes. Okay. Well, yes. But now I didn't. But you see, that take took years for that to happen to a person. Okay. The time that I put in, mm -hmm. it really, you know what I'm saying. Right. Okay. Right. But uh, in the meantime, uh, we. we What's your next question? Uh, next, I was going to see how you get into Islam. Oh, that's okay. And did that? Did you run into any uh, white people there when you was working on these ships? Oh yeah, but it was. Because now you went from a de uh, from a segregated environment to a non segregated exactly. environment. Exactly. How did you feel about it? Did, that? It uh, fell right in. It didn't. It didn't phase me it at didn't all. Didn't phase you? Oh no. Mm -hmm. People, I mean, no. It, mm -hmm. I had there were these people here. I knew people of people and. I just dealt mm. with them on, on a social level. Mm -hmm. In fact, I shall recall, I think I mentioned this in one of the classes when you were right here, mm -hmm. when the brother Haleen was teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, this was, uh, we would have lunch. Mm -hmm. People who all walks of life, and I mean, or all societies, all races, mm -hmm. they, and we were introducing ourselves, mm -hmm. I remember. And uh, when they got there, they said, well, Ruby, where are you from? Mm -hmm. And I said, Texas. And they looked at me and said, you're not from Texas. Mm -hmm. But this is just how I fit in. Yes. And then my deliverance, my speech has always been as it is now. Yes. Something will bother me, does it? Mm -hmm. And she said, you're not from Texas. Mm -hmm. But I am too. Well, no, you're not. So my answer, to, reply to them was, why do you say I'm not from Texas? Mm -hmm. He said, you don't sound like a Texan. No, oh, that southern draw, huh? I see. And so my only thing I said to them was, how does a Texan sound? Mm 
-hmm. and I changed the conversation. Mm -hmm. But uh, it has never been hard for me to mix with people. Mm -hmm. I don't care where they come from. Mm -hmm. And when I knew, like, I grew up here in Texas, and I know they were segregated, and I knew what they thought of me. But what they didn't know, I thought the same thing about them. Mm -hmm. I just didn't express it. Okay. Does okay. that explain it? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, you want to know how I got into Islam. Right, but what was, what, did you still consider yourself a part of the Episcopalian Church? No. Or the when Pentecostal I left Texas. Mm -hmm. When I left Texas, when I got the train mm -hmm. going from Texas to New York, mm -hmm. I left the religion of Christianity. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. You left the religion of Christianity. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, uh, once I was there, my father and I went to church one time, the first Sunday I was there. Mm -hmm. I never returned. Hmm. I just enjoyed social life. Went in the, uh, of course, the Mount Vernon, you have to travel, go into New York. Mm -hmm. I was in New York, down Harlem, mm -hmm. every Sunday, or every weekend, mm -hmm. should I say. Mm -hmm. And I did not, um, I just enjoyed social life, period. I was mm -hmm. younger, was mm -hmm. going in places where I shouldn't have gone, mm -hmm. had, had they checked my uh, ID. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But you see, they weren't doing that back at that time. Okay. At that time, I'm just 20, yeah. if I'm 20. Mm -hmm. And I will say this to you you saw the picture, mm -hmm. Malcolm X. Yes. You remember the uh, cabaret? of the nightclub where he hang out. Smalls, mm -hmm. Paradise, you remember the name? Mm -hmm. Smalls, mm -hmm. was red decoration. I was at that place in the living weekend for a while. Ah, okay. I didn't know Malcolm now. Okay. No, but that's a lot there, there in the frolic. And it looked in this picture mm -hmm. the same as it was when I was there. Mm. I don't know what, because that's now have been, that picture was made almost 20 years ago now. Right. So who right. knows what it's like now. But at that time, mm -hmm. when they made that picture, mm -hmm. when they shot it, mm -hmm. it looked just as it did. Okay. Right. Before we get into the Nation of Islam, how was, what was your position on the uh, civil rights? Well, at that time, see, civil rights had not begun. You mean it, fighting for civil rights? I mean, and standing up for who you are and all oh, that? Oh, yeah, but I mean, that was not a big deal as it was when you were coming along. Mm -hmm. Civil rights with Martin Luther King and all of that. Mm -hmm. That but was they, before they, that. Hmm? That was before the Martins and the Malcolms. Yeah, what I'm doing, yes, right. what I'm saying, right. yes. That okay. was before. See, because what I'm, the time I'm giving you now when I'm in New York, that's about the time Malcolm, if, as his history goes, mm -hmm. was going into prison. Okay. And it so happened, it coincided. The time I was there in, mm -hmm. in comparing dates, it mm -hmm. was just about that time. Mm -hmm. And who knows? Mm -hmm. I, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I might have been at Small's Paradise and Malcolm mm -hmm. could have been at the same time. Yeah. I wouldn't know that. Mm -hmm. Because, see, as far as I was concerned, there were no gangsters around there. Mm -hmm. I'm going there have, right. having a drink and a good time, one of those things. Right. All right. Was it, what, what, what time or what year was you introduced to the Nation of Islam? Um, 50, I'm married, you see. You was married? Oh, when, I, when I was introduced to Islam. Mm -hmm. See, I was introduced to Islam through my husband. Okay. In fact, you see, when I'm in New York, I left New York and uh, my brother mm -hmm. and my husband, which we, we were not married. Mm -hmm. See, when my husband went into service, mm -hmm. the Second World War, I was about 16, 17 when he went into service. Oh, so you were married before you left Texas? No. No, this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. No. When I left Texas, I was just getting out of high school. Mm -hmm. My husband went into service while I'm in high school. Okay. And when he went into service, they shipped him overseas. He spent most of his... Um, service career mm -hmm. overseas. Mm -hmm. He was in Australia for about two or three years. Okay. He was in there four years. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, I'm a young woman now. I'm in my twenties. This is when we get married. Okay. So you didn't necessarily know him when you were sixteen. Oh yes, I knew him. I met him here in Texas when ah. I'm a, when I'm a teenager. Okay, but you all wasn't married. No. And when you got back, you got married. That's it. Okay, and he introduced you to the nation of Islam. Exactly. And how did that introduction go? 
Oh, he went well. He, well, I'll, that's what you want to know. You see, when he came back from overseas after four years, mm -hmm. he wired me not to come to Texas. He, because he was coming back to the, he was coming up to the East Coast mm -hmm. when he, after his furlough. Mm -hmm. But so happened when he got to Texas, when he uh, sent me that telegram, I was already in Texas visiting my mother here mm -hmm. and my brother. Of course, he and my brother were friends. Mm -hmm. So I, we, we discussed marriage, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And, uh, but now, this is where I'm getting near Islam now. Mm -hmm. I had decided when I left New York, I was not going to return to New York, but I was going to go to Detroit. Mm. Because my best girlfriend in New York, and we worked together in Yonkers on the ship building thing, mm -hmm. um, was from Detroit. Okay. And she had talked about it so much. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I said, Rita, when I leave here, I'm going, I'm going to go see what Detroit's all about. Mm -hmm. So when I left New York, mm -hmm. coming to Texas to see my brother and my mother and the visit, the things that I didn't need on my trip, mm -hmm. I sent them straight to Detroit to another girlfriend of mine I had there. Okay. So when after my visit here, mm -hmm. visiting, I went to Detroit. Mm. Had a telegram from my husband who had left Texas and was up in Atlantic City mm. at that time. Okay. This is all happening in a matter of two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. I didn't do nothing but travel during that time. Mm -hmm. And he wrote me, or at least he sent me a wire, that uh, he sent me two wires. One that he was leaving Texas. In fact, he left Texas the same day that I left. Mm -hmm. I didn't know of different routes. Mm -hmm. Then the second was telling me to come on to Atlantic City mm -hmm. and he'd take care of everything when I got there, meaning we'd get married. Right. That's what happened. Okay. Okay. All right. So go ahead. So when we married, now he had decided, which I didn't know. Mm -hmm. He had decided, he said while he was in service, that when he got out, he was gonna settle in Detroit. This just happened. This was a law. Right, the law. And this is what I had decided. Mm -hmm. So when we married, it was just under modern methods too. We were settled in Detroit. Okay. That's how we wound up in Detroit. Okay. Uh, now. Nation of Islam. Right. That come, come with time. Okay. We married. We one of we were just social young people mm -hmm. socializing, mm -hmm. just having a good time. Mm -hmm. um, and he was a, quite. A, he was a scholar. Not an Islamic scholar, but he was just a scholar, period. Mm -hmm. And um, and a great sportsman. Mm -hmm. oh, and I tell everybody that uh, fishing was his first love, I was his second. <laughs> and we were in the okay. right place. We fished in all the Great Lakes. In fact, in Canada, it was the most part. Every weekend, you find us up in there. Mm -hmm. We had friends that had property and what have the cottages and what have But anyway, we fished in Lake Erie most of the time, okay? Mm -hmm. His best fishing buddy, who was also kind of a scholar, somehow they would, um, now you're looking now, I'm going to kind of get down to the years. Mm -hmm. I married in 45. Okay. In Atlantic City. Okay. In one of the big hotels there. On the boardwalk in Atlantic City. You heard of that song? On the the boardwalk, boardwalk in Atlantic City? Uh, it was a, it was popular at that time, oh, but anyway, okay. this is where um, we married and settled in Detroit. But um, now, married for five in about in fifty. And we can cut this short. We no, 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 no. Go ahead, do your thing. <laughs> when um, in nineteen, so through these years, mm -hmm. forty five on up to the fifties, we were just enjoying life. Mm -hmm doing all the things that young people do. Mm -hmm. um, somehow, he and Q, that was his best fishing buddy, mm -hmm. they began to, this is the time when Malcolm now, which I, we didn't know all this coming. Right, we didn't know time, it at that time. Out, yeah, right. uh, was writing, uh, 
articles in mm -hmm. the Pittsburgh Courier. Mm -hmm. You've heard of the Pittsburgh. Yes. Okay. And um, they began to read and study the articles of uh, Malcolm mm -hmm. and the message. Mm -hmm. Both of them had articles in the Pittsburgh Courier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So naturally they're writing about, now this is when, well you know what went on at that time. Mm -hmm. This is 54, mm -hmm. right, 54, 55, no later than that, right, about the end of 54. Okay. Uh, my husband and Q lived for that paper. Mm -hmm. And um, they began to compare what the messenger and Malcolm was saying to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was their thing. Mm -hmm. They researched, they had all kinds of dictionaries and uh, concordance and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. They really got into it. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I'm, I'm not involved, I'm listening, I hear what's going on. Right. But um, when. Um, Keep talking. Mm -hmm. When the more they researched and studied, mm -hmm. you see, they were going to prove the Honorable Elijah Muhammad wrong. Oh, that, that was, was their purpose. That was their purpose. Okay. Yeah, that was their purpose. Okay. To, to, to prove them wrong. Yeah. Uh, using the Bible. Yeah. Okay. All right. And the more they researched, it seemed that he was right. Mm. And of course, they had experienced the white man and all right. of this stuff, and so that was no, that was no problem. Oh, one question: What was your husband's name? Oh, did, do you have one of his bro brochures that I was selling, the Anton Williams? Anton Williams. Uh, a and A N T O N N E, Anton X. You didn't have one of those books. I may have. Well, see, I was selling them two or three years ago. I, I had a brochure made to get funds. Well, it was a twofold thing mm -hmm. to get funds for the graduates. Mm -hmm. Our graduates every year mm -hmm. were pertaining to this also. Mm -hmm. Plus, to get a little history out there mm -hmm. about my husband and mm -hmm. along with Malcolm. Yeah, I'm doing that. I must bring you one of those. Okay. I'll let you see it in any way and what happened. Okay. Yes. Mm. Well, anyway, and you see, and in this brochure is one of Malcolm's orig original articles from the Big Book Curie. Mm -hmm. In this, in this brochure, mm -hmm. with a little biography of my husband. Mm. Oh, okay. That's history. Yeah, that is history. Very yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. So, was you, was you, um, when you was, well, I guess. Your husband introduced you to the Nation of Islam. Oh, no, let's, let's put it this way. Oh, yeah, here's what happened. Mm -hmm. um, since the, and the more they studied, the more they got involved. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking, I know it was 55 now. And Malcolm had now become, which we didn't know anything about this. Mm -hmm. The history mm -hmm. showed us has proved this to be right. Mm -hmm. He was conducting meetings. Mm -hmm. By this time, he has become so involved with the messenger, mm -hmm. the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, mm -hmm. Mount, mm -hmm. and was becoming the spokesman for the nation mm -hmm. of Islam. So he was going all over the USA promoting Islam mm -hmm. for the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. So this particular time, mm -hmm. he was coming to Detroit, mm -hmm. and it was loudspeakers, it was blasting all over, advertising. Mm -hmm. You see, and are you aware that Malcolm's brothers? My Muslim brothers? Mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. his blood brothers. Oh, blood brothers. Blood brothers. Mm -hmm. He had four. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had three. He was the four. Mm -hmm. Um... Evidently, you're not aware of this. No. Uh, but this is history as I lived it. Mm -hmm. Oh, everything I'm saying to you is as I lived yeah. it. Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, 
But now I'm, I, I realize now, now, mm -hmm. personally, that Islam is religion. Mm -hmm. I'm still not a Muslim now, mm -hmm. but just from their, their studying and mm -hmm. I know that this is Islam instead of Mohammedanism. Ah, I see. You, now you so see. You're what, distinguishing now. There you go. I see. I know this. Okay. Okay. Uh, but so Malcolm, at that time, would uh, he had a brother, and who was a minister, mm -hmm. Detroit. Mm -hmm. That was Wilford was his name. Mm -hmm. But at just as we went in, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was in the process of changing the ministers. Mm -hmm. The first um, minister we heard from the nation of it, his name was Brother was Eman, Minister Emmanuel. I have his picture on these things. I should be to Inshallah, these things I hope to bring forth. Mm. But uh, Malcolm is coming down enforcing this. Minister Emmanuel was there, but they're about to, but Wilford, they, they're planning to make Brother Wilford, the Minister Wilford, the minister there. I mean, I realize this now. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this then. It's just mm -hmm. some people. Mm -hmm. um, but Malcolm had three of them. He had, there were three of them that were ministers. Mm -hmm. He, Malcolm, which was the minister of New York, mm -hmm. Wilford, the minister, become the minister of Detroit. Mm. And then Philbert, mm -hmm. he was promoting Islam in Lansing. All three of them were ministers of Islam at the same time. Mm. Okay. Uh, now, with Brother Malcolm, mm -hmm. um, promoting a propagation session there in Detroit and all, and as blasting all over with the loudspeakers for the people to come out and hear him. Mm -hmm. This is when we first saw Malcolm. In fact, I shall never forget, and that's when they were having um, meetings on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Were they still having meetings on Sunday when you come in? Um, yes. They were? Yeah, I was in Chicago, but Malcolm but wasn't was, there anymore. It was no, like 75. Of course not. Right. 75, we had, we had, well, we you, had Dallin. You were in 75? Yes. Oh, well, you, you're you aware of all of this. I mean, mm -hmm. you, if you've been in that, oh, definitely you're aware. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when Malcolm came down that Sunday, mm -hmm. I shall never forget, it was like yesterday, but my husband and his buddy, with we being there in Detroit and all, but he, and that's what cars and things don't bother me down. And I had them when I was young. Mm -hmm. And the, the, every two years, mm -hmm. he changed cars. Had a brand new car every two years. Mm -hmm. And um, this particular Sunday, we had just I think got these new cars. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, the um, this couple, Q and his wife, which she and I were very close came over and he said, well, where, what are we going to do today, as young people usually do? Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, I don't know, so we just thought maybe we would ride over to Ohio or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Detroit, Michigan's beer didn't taste as good as Ohio's beer, so we thought we'd go over there and get, get some. Get something some. <laughs> over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, this is, uh -huh. so, and during the conversation, and they had been, studying and reading about uh, this Malcolm mm -hmm. and um, this man, this Elijah in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, he's coming. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. Mm -hmm. We wound up going to this strange place. Mm -hmm. That was my first encounter. Mm -hmm. with Islam as okay. taught mm -hmm. by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. That was the 
all right. Uh, once it was over, mm -hmm. and uh, of course Malcolm talked about everything. It was my first time seeing Malcolm, and of course he was. Uh, did you ever hear him? No, I guess you didn't. If no, you come in '75, no, you didn't. Mm -mm. Other, unless you heard him on video, you know, tape, tape or whatever. Mm -hmm. Such a charismatic person, but I won't even go there. I'll just, mm. just leave that alone. Mm. But mm. very persuasive, and he was a psychologist and all of that. Mm. He, he did away with your mind. Yeah. Um. Do you, Do you remember when you took the shahada tank, or was it the shahada well, tank? Well, you see, no shahada. There was no shahada. I'll tell you. Well, it was a shahada and. Uh, Good you ask that question. Mm -hmm. uh, the way you, your shahara was mm -hmm. at that time, the nation of Islam, you wrote a letter. Uh, I heard about that letter. All right. All right. And incidentally, I still have mine. Is that right? Yeah. What, when did you write it? Then. I bet back at that time. Back at that time. That's okay. when you become one. So you'd have to write it. Mm -hmm. And it would have to be so perfect mm -hmm. as it was presented to you. Mm -hmm. No flaw. That was your passing. Mm. If you were able to do that mm -hmm. as suggested, then that was your shot. Mm. Okay. So when did you hear back from the uh, your Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Well, oh, that see at the time now I'm talking to you. I hadn't done nothing. I hadn't even decided. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. we, we just went to hear Malcolm. Okay. okay. We, I hadn't decided nothing like that. But how long how long was it between when you wrote the letter and sent it to when you got a reply back? But. Oh, let's see. I would say about three months. About three months. But now back to our first hearing Malcolm mm -hmm. lecture. When we left the place, mm -hmm. my girlfriend said to me, she said, where are Ruby? Because it was different. Mm -hmm. She said, what do you think about it? Knowing from what I had just seen or heard, mm -hmm. it was good. I also knew I would my whole life would be changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was complete upheaval mm -hmm. as I lived, lived it. it. Right. Yeah. So I said to her, Mom, I like her. I said, but I, I said, but me, I don't know if I'm ready. I said, but I tell you this. Because mm -hmm. Malcolm discussed this mm -hmm. about the school and all. Mm -hmm. The children. I said, but if I had a child. My child would go to that school. Mm -hmm. But me, okay. I don't know if I'm ready, because I knew, as I said, my whole life. Mm -hmm. And we, I just left that way, we went on. Well, mm -hmm. Malcolm stayed around, he was at his brother's for maybe a month or so, and he would, he was constantly teaching every night or so, or two, or whatever, at the temple. Mm -hmm. And my husband was going. Mm -hmm. He didn't miss a session. Mm -hmm. Well, when he went, I would accompany him. Mm -hmm. um, pardon me. So at the end of the lecture, and you probably, it's, you came in in 75, you were probably still doing this maybe. Mm -hmm. But the end, the closing mm -hmm. of the uh, meeting, he said, uh, who in here, if you, well, not verbatim, but with the essence of who's big enough, brave enough, or whatever enough to would like to follow, uh, help the Honorable Elijah Muhammad mm -hmm. promote this message. Mm -hmm. If you all of those things and willing to stand, and my husband stood up. Mm -hmm. That was the beginning of my. That was. No, that was. Beginning, yeah. Beginning of you being yes. in the nation of Islam. I see. Yes. And when he stood up, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't question. Well, this is it. Mm -hmm. Because I knew I would accept it. Or uh, it would. If I didn't, it was. Well, we would never be the same. Right. Did y'all pardon? There you go. Okay. Away. All right. Now, one, one, another. Well, I have several questions, but one question, um, and I know this was like early. What you're talking about right now, but where was, uh, I guess you never heard of Martin Luther King at that time. Oh, yeah, but I heard about Martin. Well, How did well, you well let's put it this way. No. You didn't at know At that him. time, no. No, okay. No, no. So when you start hearing about Martin Luther King and what he was talking about, how did you feel about Martin Luther King? 
I didn't. I, I didn't appreciate it. You didn't appreciate it. No. So you didn't like Martin Luther King. Not really. What was your What was your take? Like, what was the description of what you think he was talking about? Oh, I knew what he was talking about, mm -hmm. and and I agreed with his, what they were doing with Miss mm -hmm. uh, Miss uh, Rosa. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, very mm -hmm. much so. Mm -hmm. And I admired him for that. Mm -hmm. But me, I couldn't follow him. Mm -hmm. Why not? Oh, I wouldn't. Uh, were you in Martin? Mm -hmm. No, because... Are you that non-violence there? Well, not so much the non-violence. Well, well, that too. Well, he had the Christianity but, behind him. Huh? He had the Christianity. Well, yes, I would, would want to... I had denounced Christianity for me already. Right, right. See, that was even before I ever heard of Malcolm. But right. as a child, right. I knew something was wrong. Right. And I couldn't be following him down the street. Nobody hit me on the top of the head and bought holes. No. Right. I admired him mm -hmm. and the people that were able to do this. Mm -hmm. But I knew I would not be able to do that. Mm. Is that, do you understand that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, another question. What was your take? Oh, what, what was you doing and where were you when you heard about Malcolm's death? So much had happened in between. I was in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, you were in Phoenix, okay. And what were you doing? Like washing dishes? No, I was getting, getting ready to leave home, getting dressed to leave. Where, mm. where were you going? No, was where I was going. Who knows? Um, well, what was, how did you get the message? Over the TV. Over the, the TV? News. Was it morning, noon, night? It was, it was morning. It, had he died that morning, or was it the day before? It must have. It must have happened the day before, and I just got it that I didn't put the news on the next morning. Mm -hmm. But you know, I never stopped walking. I, I, I think I was coming from the bathroom, coming up through the house and go to the kitchen, getting ready to leave. Mm -hmm. I never stopped mm -hmm. because. I, I think I had anticipated it. So much was going on. Yeah. How did you feel about Martin? At, man, not Martin, but Malcolm at that time. Cause you know he had split from the nation. Loved him very much. So when he split, did you split? My husband did. Your husband split when he split? I think so. It was never the same. Mm. Mm. My husband was never the same. Mm. Um, but we just went on that. Life goes on. Right. I mean, when not when not when he died, but when he split, was that's that's when it started being different. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> um, um. I could, you know, let me say this right here, mm -hmm. and this is very important. I don't know if you understand it or not. I uh, please give me my purse coffee. if you will. I have a, a diver right just here, a, no no the. the Thank you. I've developed an allergy, <clears throat> and I have a, this is something that's new for me, and I have something that's sip on this lemon, honey. Mm. But uh, <clears throat> you know, this right now, this may be a. Just a minute. Okay. Pardon me, just a oh, no problem. <clears throat> As I was about to say, mm -hmm. this is about the, a good time to in this session, mm -hmm. for a simple reason, uh, that's a time, not so much of, yes, I get, but yes, at the time of his leaving the nation. Mm -hmm. I will tell you this, I better say this now. See, I was very much involved. Mm -hmm. When I say very much involved, I mean, I had gotten to know him, because we knew him before we left Detroit. Mm -hmm. 
Right, right. As a matter of fact, so, he influenced you to join the nation. Yes, and then you see, while he was in Detroit, mm -hmm. we got to know him more on a social basis. Mm -hmm. That makes a difference. Right. So Not you, just from the roster. Right, so you knew him. I knew him. Okay. That's why I said this may be mm -hmm. a good place maybe to end this session for now and we pick up mm -hmm. later. Okay. Because, no, no, don't go ahead. I'll, I'll let you know when. Oh, go on. You want to write something? Well, no, I'm finna go through here. I, had, I did have one more person. Listen, wait a minute. Let me, let me finish this. But I'm just saying this to you. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, um, uh, there in Detroit, when, mm -hmm. finally when his, his brother was made full-fledged minister mm -hmm. of the temple there in Detroit, mm -hmm. then my husband, we would go visit him mm -hmm. and his wife, Sister Ruth. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I become, and with Malcolm being there, with I become on a social close. basis. Yeah, you were close. So it's pretty hard for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Through the years, and this is another reason I don't talk about certain things. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I I actually had to shut down mm -hmm. and refuse to talk about anything for years. Mm -hmm. I'm just not beginning to do this. Mm -hmm. You were the first, as far as recording, oh, okay. and very few. I've talked about it, period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too close to But, so you see, we were, then when we left Detroit, mm -hmm. as I said, I got to know. See, my husband and I even would go into Lansing and help his brother Philbert there promote mm -hmm. Islam. Mm -hmm. So I become very involved. Uh, now, you remember when. The convention was in Detroit about 10 years ago, did you ago? No, I didn't go. Did you, you remember when, though? When um, we went? Mm -hmm. I, I, no, I can't say I, I was. It's been about, it was in Detroit. It's been there twice. Mm. The first year. I haven't been back there in about 25 years. Okay. You got like 10 more minutes? Okay. Let me ask you two more questions. But let me say this right quick. Okay. While we were there at the convention, mm -hmm. It was at the Western Hotel. This is where all the activities were. Mm -hmm. I called Minister Wilford, mm -hmm. Matt Malcolm's brother, who was the oldest of all. Mm -hmm. And he came over and he found out who I was. Mm -hmm. That's how close my husband and I were to him. Mm -hmm. He came to the hotel. Mm -hmm. He and his wife and picked me up and took me out to his home. And we discussed Malcolm and all the memorabilia he has there and took me out to dinner. That's how close I was to the family. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ask your question. Ask, ask oh, your ask. question. Oh, I want to know, um, I want to know about Martin Luther King's death when you found out about that. It was I like... Was, I was sorrful. You felt sorrful? I, I, yes, I was sorry. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Because he did good work. Yes. He yeah. did good work, right. but I couldn't follow him. Mm -hmm. That's all. Right. I was not a Christian. Mm -hmm. I could not follow him, but I did listen to him. But truth is truth. I don't care where it comes from. Mm -hmm. Well, I said two more. One more, one more. That's all right. Last. And how about when uh, Elijah Muhammad passed? Where were you? I was here. Then. You was in Dallas. Uh -huh. Okay. And how I did had you, just come here. How did you feel about that? Sorry. Very was you was you somewhat uh, upset with him about Malcolm? You didn't no, tie. You didn't. No. Let's go back to that. That's what I wanted to say. I wanted to clear that up. Okay. Which is most important mm -hmm. on my part mm -hmm. when it comes to Malcolm and the messenger. Mm -hmm. And that's something I want to tell you. I don't get into. Okay. For many reasons, and I'll say this: mm -hmm. there's certain things I don't get into. Mm -hmm. Now you see when, remember, I think I told you I was in Phoenix, mm -hmm. when right. Malcolm when, uh, Mal was assassinated. Right. Right. Is that right? Yes. Now, prior to that year, even at the time when JFK was murdered, mm -hmm. assassinated, I was in Phoenix. Okay. In fact, I think when I heard about him, JFK, Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there was that controversy about what Malcolm had said. Yes, about the chickens. The, the chickens, yes. Right. I'm there. Mm -hmm. 
these are things I really don't want to get into for the class, mm -hmm. but I'm there. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew it had happened, the split between the messenger mm -hmm. and Brother Mac. Mm -hmm. See, now I, had, I was, my husband and I, had, I would see Malcolm often. Mm -hmm. I would see him even more maybe in Phoenix than I saw him in Detroit. Oh, okay. So that's why. Right. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Kind of have to come. Right. Kind of leave it alone. But I want to say this. Mm -hmm. uh, the last time I saw Malcolm, it was. Um, Midtime, mid, mid January or December, around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And all the children were out of school, even the Muslim children, because even they went to the public school. Mm -hmm. And there was a family, a brother had three little girls, and I was very close to them. And I picked up them and their mother and they said, We're going to just have a holiday. I'm just taking a wee ride and maybe do something, children. Mm -hmm. And something, Allah spoke to me the feelings, he said, just when you drive by the house, and when I say the house, I mean Dollar Drive. Was that? Okay. Dollar mm. Drive is the address, is where the messenger lived when he was in peace. Oh, okay. Elijah Muhammad. Okay. See, this gets kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. This is the reason. After this, we will stop for mm -hmm. another session. Okay. Uh, and guess what? Now, at this time, the news had come over that he and Malcolm had split. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, they had already split, but they were really getting down to the complete blow up, blow mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. blow up. And as I, oh, I lost power. I lost power. But as I turned off of the main street, which is Broadway, onto Bible Drive, I saw it was about four figures. Men. I knew. I knew instantly who it was, who one of them was. Mm -hmm. And one of them was Malcolm. Mm -hmm. So I just drove real slow and approached the house. And as I approached, as I got in front of the house, Malcolm, they were ringing the doorbell. They were ringing, but nobody answered. Mm -hmm. And they turned, was walking down the steps. And I just drove real slow so Malcolm would see me and recognize me. Mm -hmm. That's the last time I saw him. Mm -hmm. And that was in Phoenix. That was in Phoenix. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know you, you said that, that won't, you want that to be your last question. No, go ahead. But, all right. Imam W.D. Muhammad. What about him? You a supporter of him? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, can I ask you why? Um, now, when you say supporter of him, mm -hmm. well, let me say this before I answer that. Mm -hmm. I am a supporter of all good where Islam is concerned. Mm -hmm. I worship no man. That's what I want to call Okay. I worship, I only worship Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just as simple as that. But all good, I suppose. Okay. I didn't see. That was one of the problems. And still is a problem. Mm -hmm. I feel where many of the beliefs are concerned. Mm -hmm. They worshiped the man. Mm -hmm. They worshiped the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. That's what caused me to split in the first place. Mm -hmm. And right now, I think, I think there are many people that worship Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. There are some that worship Malcolm. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I respect it. 
I love and respect them, mm. but I don't worship them. Mm. I don't even worship my husband. Mm -hmm. I don't worship no man. Mm -hmm. I respect my husband, but I worship no man. I don't bow down and pray to no man. Just as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Can I make it any clearer? No, you made yourself clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when when Imam Muhammad took leadership, is that when you you followed him into his it, leadership? It just, just doesn't matter, yes. Okay. Yes. And because you see, to me, when it comes to the nation of Islam, to me, I saw so many flaws from that from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You see, certain things they were talking about, it... You just didn't get in there. Huh? No. I just, I knew I mean, I'm going to be a Muslim and all that. I don't have to do that. I mean, no. Just didn't get in there. Well, I want to thank you for giving us, what is this, an hour, hour and a half? but that shows what time will do. <laughs> well, I told you, once you start talking, it comes on now. So I don't know. Once you get that uh, done, I'd like to hear it or see it. Now, are you going to put it on paper first and then record it or what? Mm -hmm. Is it already recorded? Yeah, it's recorded. It's already recorded. <laughs> right. Yeah, about okay. to run out. I got like four more minutes left here. Oh, uh, okay. But there's, there, is there anything you want to say to the youth? Say someone, say 10 years from now, looking at this? Not at this time. Not at this time? No, not at this time. Okay, but well, we will the continue. The only thing I would say to them is, be the best Muslim you can be. Mm. Be the best that you can be. Mm. And when I say that, I think about what I tell the books, the little books. To be, if you are, because it promotes the best of womanhood. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, if you are a good Muslim, you will automatically be a good woman. Mm -hmm. If you're a good Muslim. Mm -hmm. No question about it. Mm -hmm. If you do everything to the best of your abilities being a Muslim, you would have to be a good woman. Being a good woman, you'd have to be a good daughter, mm -hmm. a good wife, a good mother. If you're a good Muslim, all those things are automatically fall in place. Mm -hmm. No questions about it. Mm -hmm. Need I say any more? No, you don't have to. <laughs> well, I want to thank you, Sister Ruby. And um, right. inshallah, we'll continue this. And maybe um, when we do, we can talk about the Brooks and where that comes from <laughs> and um, and how you got started in that. All right. But I well, want to thank you. And uh, I said, I'm like, I'm going to die. Well, Salam, brother.